And welcome back everybody, Aesop Grimm here, and this is the continuation of our Subnautica Below Zero Chronicle. I just hit the timer, the start timer, so we got 30 minutes. And in the last episode, we were looking for a place to put up uh, another scanner room for this biome, which I forget the name of again. And we came across this uh, already constructed base. So we are going to check this thing out. You can see it's it looks like it's been attacked. That's a lot of hatch entries. And she had mentioned, I think she mentioned Sam. One charge fence. Your blueprint synthesized. Nice. Uh oh. Ah, bulkhead. I like bulkheads. New blueprint synthesized. A vending machine. So there was an explosion that blew this bulkhead off. I think this was probably an internal explosion. Okay, we've got rooms, offices, no sleeping quarters. The single bed. New blueprint synthesized. Postcard. Wish you were here. From her boyfriend, I guess. Quilted double bed. 90 seconds left. We'll grab this. Veen's art. Okay, let's uh, go get oxygen. Multi-purpose room glass dome. We're finding quite a few things here. New blueprint synthesized. They've also got the ohm symbol here, so they're part of that robotics team, I think. Okay, so we got Veen Fam. Nameplate. And now... We will check out Dr. Valenti's room, Danielle's bed. Aromatherapy lamp. New blueprint synthesized. Okay, that, uh, that was Sam's girlfriend, I think. Okay, so that takes care of this end. We 
got a lot of stuff to read about. Okay, we already knew that. 102 seconds left. This lab looks like it was intentionally sabotaged. Enzyme mutation study. Okay, that's going to be pretty important. Something that Sam would be working on kind of on the down low. With 54 seconds left, I need to head back. This... was in here. Okay. And I checked that also. That should be everything. We got some reading to do, though. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Okay, um, let's get all of these checked. What's this do for us? Wirelessly charges your held tool while you swim. Crazy. We had that option in the last one, but I stuck with the speed one. Now that I don't have any speed. Seek fluid intake. We'll just go with this one. Vital signs stabilizing. All right. Bulkhead door adds, uh, oh, it doesn't tell us how much. Okay, we got several different beds here. Danielle's bed looks pretty suave, but, uh, well, it would match our, our girl's swimsuit a little bit better also. I don't know. We'll take a look at it. Get these all marked off. Okay. Memos and miscellany, miscellaneous. The task revolution. The key to total uninterrupted focus on what's important is the ability to unfocus on the unimportant. The ultimate goal of concentration is not to block out surrounding environments, but to maintain total focus in spite of them. They will be there. You must be not only better than them, but decoupled from them. You've heard of multitasking. Now get ready for monotasking. Studies have shown that humans, even the most capable among us, cannot focus on two activities at once to the extent required to complete them optimally and thoroughly. Multitasking is an illusion to make you think you're getting more done, when in reality you're most likely neglecting one task or the other. Monotasking rejects the notion that humans should even bother trying to multitask as not only does it hinder productivity but increases stress and even guilt when it doesn't yield higher productivity. You, O oh expert task revolutionary, have no time for systems that do not work, so let's explore monotasking more in the next chapter. Interesting theory. Uh, I don't like these one-size-fit-all theories. I. I think there are people who can multitask. I think they were designed that way, built that way, uh, inherited that way. I don't know. Pick your metaphor or whatever, or however you you believe. But there are, people are diverse. That's why the phrase "no man is a battleship" 
really works because human beings are designed to live in societies. Why? Because we need each other in order to fill all each other's gaps. So I, th I absolutely believe there are people out there who can effectively multitask. I'm not one of them. I've never been very good at that. Uh, I am a one task at a time person. But I've known people who are quite good at it. So I'm not really sure that I think uh, this is phrased a little bit wrong. It's, it's wanting to reject. It's like throwing the baby out with the bathwater. No. So anyway, Altera personnel. Alexis Riddell. Independent Investigator Transgov Affairs reports to Altera HQ. Yeah, she looks kind of serious. Dr. Danielle Valenti. Senior Scientist at Biochemistry reports to Emmanuel Desjardins. Current Project Bacterial Analysis Personality E3A302C5N1. Whatever that means. Altera. Alright, this is from Dr. Miss Danielle. Uh, okay, so they're having some relationship stuff going on. Investigation report, Omega Laboratory. Investigation notes. Omega Lab was first breached by heavy impact, perhaps from a sea track modified with some sort of battering implement. A localized explosive charge was then released and detonated from a distance. Lab equipment was damaged to the point of inoperability, and all live specimens were destroyed. No personnel was injured. Samples have been collected for analysis to determine whether any bacteria escaped. It is, however, unlikely. The heat of the charge should have boiled everything within a 10 meter radius. Yeah, you hope. We've studied the first Kara bacteria samples from the specimen. Results are promising. We were able to stimulate rapid multiplication of cells in a controlled environment, resulting in the creation of several different mutations with potentially useful applications. Think of the possibilities. Life-saving treatments, genetic research. It could be a window to understand the evolution of life on this planet. The findings could move us forward by years. We recommend a wider study, using samples collected from a greater variety of sites around the original pustules. We trust you will provide the necessary security to do so. The Leviathan site must be protected. Yeah, the best laid plans of mice and men, Danielle. Always too ambitious. All right. Oh, uh, Danny's not here, I'm afraid. That's okay. It's you I wanted to see. What's that you're working on? Just a sketch for a piece I want to make. <sighs> I'm slacking off. Don't tell the boss lady. <laughs> I won't. It's beautiful. What is it? I'm doing a series inspired by bacteria. Mutant beauty. Life, death, risk. You know, that kind of thing. What's this one? It looks like Harab, but Vin, is this a mutation? It's just an art project. You know you're doing that thing with your neck, like when you're trying to bluff an alien intruder. <sighs> All right, fine, fine. I'm bad at lying. Are you mutating Harab bacterium from the frozen Leviathan here in this lab? Please don't ask me any more questions. I don't think I need to. Yeah. Bad stuff. So Sam probably blew this place up. Miss you terribly. Wish you were here. It's a very different world, huh? This one looks kind of deserty, although there is water. Hey, Tiger. Miss you a lot. Can't wait for both of our assignments to be over with. Deltar 6 has been an amazing opportunity. I never tire of watching the sunrise and sunset over the black sands of the Chiritsane Desert. 
Ah, see, desert. It's beautiful. The only way that it could be better is if you were here. Loving you across the stars, Irian. All right, that's all flavor stuff to kind of give you a sense of people's humanity and stuff like that. All righty then. So we are going to build build our scanner room. Um, I think I am going to put it here in this cave. I mean, I guess I could just build it on top of the dead. <laughs> this really isn't a grave site. No personnel was injured. Sam blew this place up. Let's uh, take a peek out here and see if there's anything else. Oh, is this open ocean? Yeah. Okay. Omega Lab. Hey, is that scannable? I don't suppose it. Yeah, that would have been nice. Maybe uh, maybe it's the same thing as the name plates. I think perhaps we could build right here. Is this open ocean? Yes, it is. Okay. I'm just kind of scoping out our options. Maybe we should stay up a level. Ah, uh, yeah, probably. Okay. So I need four lead. storage that's all titanium that's all titanium oh my gosh really oh is it in yeah it is Okay, I haven't played this game in a while. I know that I brought everything though. One, two, three, four. Okay, yeah, it's been a few days since I recorded. So we're gonna need a foundation. Let's see. Maybe this high. I mean, let me do a sight check here. Okay, well, I don't think I'm going to be able to squeeze another one in. Yeah, I'm not. Okay, so. Plus, I'm going to need more titanium. deconstruct you that seems to be as far over as I can get let's see if it ends up being enough Eureka. All 
Okay, multi-purpose room. Set that back a little bit. Yes. You go there, and then I'm going to need, um, did I get the glass for a glass compartment? I might not have. That's all right. We got a fabricator with us. Let's see. It's not going to be here. It'll be back here. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure I forgot the glass. What do I need this silver for? I uh, better get inside and double check. Enter C truck. Batteries. Well, we have quartz. Oh, uh, but we're going to need that quartz. I can't use this quartz. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. What am I thinking? I don't need... I don't need that. All right. Let's uh, scan a room. I'm going to need five titanium, two copper, one gold, and table coral. Two copper and one gold. That's going to be out here. gold okay and then oh it doesn't it collides with that structure okay that's all right what we will do is move this over a little bit Okay. Now we need uh, a hatch, so I gotta go in and get the quartz. here yep okay next is going to be the nuclear reactor three titanium a wiring kit not enough Plastil ingot, advanced wiring kit, and three lead. So three lead and an advanced wiring kit. One, two, three. Advanced wiring kit. Now on this occasion, I don't have a reactor rod. Warning, emergency power only. Oxygen production offline. OK, 
Okay, so we have that. Uh, what's the next thing? The, well, the next thing would be to make modules, but I don't have power. So I'm going to have to make... Wait, do I have a reactor rod? Maybe I found one. No, I did not. Okay, let's uh, get in the sea truck. Uh, come back here. Dump those items. I suppose I can dump all these as well. Okay, now I'm going to need what? Two uranite crystal, one lead, one titanium, and one glass, so two quartz. Quartz, uranite crystal, lead, titanium. Do I put you guys on pause? I think so, with three and a half minutes left. Okay, pausing you right now. Okay, welcome back everybody. I have just returned from resource gathering and made my way back here to what I've labeled FOP Cardinal. I had to go out to Frost Owl to get the stuff I needed, but I do have four reactors now, reactor rods. So we'll load them up. Warning, emergency power only. Oxygen production. Offline. There we go. Now, Power do I have a... Uh... All primary systems online. Let me grab some... Well, I'm um, do one thing at a time. Okay. Um, we need four copper ore and four magnetite. I have all four copper ore. And I need to remember to grab some titanium also. Uh, I have been making use of this water. It, it is, it's pretty convenient. I think I appreciate this suit more than I initially did. Open storage, one, two, three, four. And uh, grab some titanium also. because I want to make a wall locker. All of these scanner sites, they get one wall locker to store reactor rods in, and I need to make those reactor rods offline. Let's see, load up uh, right here. Whoops. Okay, and wall locker. These are all the different beds. Okay, uh, wall locker. Right there. Okay, now. Yeah, that doesn't work. Reactor rods. And we'll go here. One, two, three, and four. range 500 meters and I think that's all I need I've got three pages right now there's our timer exosuit thermal reactor module fragment 
those two things don't seem to go together. I mean, I know there's a thermo, thermal reactor module. Let me see what else there is. Gel sack, glow whale, limestone chunk, magnetite, metal salvage, nickel ore, quartz, ruby, silver, table, coral, and uranite crystal. And that's just for right now. When we come back later, uh, I should see even more. But I am interested as to what this is. Alright, tells me it's right there. I wish there was uh, distances plugged into there. We should probably check inside this cave first. Oh, there's several of them. have this None of these appear to be scannable, so I assume I know this already, this recipe. Okay, let's uh let's head back. I don't really want to go that direction. seconds just under 300 meters more glass on me? I do. I think I'm out of glass now. Yeah. But if I'm not mistaken, I have the quartz to make. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Let me see. I might not. I do. Okay. Let's do that and then we'll wrap this episode up. ahead and stop the scan here still three pages okay so we got a view out here it's pretty murky
Yeah, it's kind of neat looking though. Can't quite see as high up as I'd like. I guess we could glass out the ceiling, but then I don't think we could have this. All right, um, let's create a save point. And again, I'm Aesop Grimm. Thank you for coming by the channel, and I will see you guys in the next episode where this story continues. Thanks for visiting Aesop Grimm's Chronicles. If you've made it this far in the video, please consider rating, commenting, subscribing, and sharing. I hope to see you in the next episode, and until then, stay shiny.